Hello, hello, welcome back to Interceptor Plays through Final Fantasy XV. <laughs> we are being laughed at by Arden, which is, Not you know, so tough without normal. Toys, are you? I mean, that's true. He did have, like, crazy, ridiculous powers before this. So, you know. Yeah, if you take away somebody's powers, of course they get weaker. That's not really, like, a surprising thing. Sorry, Arden. Well, not really. Arden has a lot to do to redeem himself before I can even think about forgiving him. Yeah, I have a sword now. There's something out there. I'm not concerned at all. I really need to uh figure out a way to or <laughs> I wish I knew where the dormitories were so I could make sure that, you know, I could save and end an episode at the same time. That would be really convenient. But I'm also having a lot of fun playing, so... I also had a lot of caffeine today. <laughs> Ergo. Alright. Let's, let's keep on keeping on, everybody. Okay. I really want my friends back. Oh, poison. That's cool. Uh, the pipes? You know, that's generally where poison comes from. Oh, shut up. Hmm. Hmm. Let's see. What if I equip myself with something that resists poison? Could we do that? Will my life be that easy? Probably not, but... Let's see, confusion, strength, staining, vitality, recovery, weight rate, blah, 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 Moogle charm, stamina, key of prosperity. Oh man, there's so many cool things that we have. Uh, but what I'm looking for is uh, not the glass, not the golden hourglass, I would imagine. Let's stop. Rainbow pendant is confused. Poison. Yeah, our star pendant. Of course, it's been the star pendant in every game. Well, this is going to be just peachy. Poison gas, yeah. I I put on a anti-poison thing. It seems to be working, actually. So, I'm gonna keep trying with that. Yeah. Okay, so no, it doesn't work. Ah. But whatever, I have enough items. <laughs> Sometimes I'm a mean player. I'm just like, eh. You'll survive. It's like when I made Ignis go with me instead of, you know, recognizing that his life is different now. But I don't think the game would have let me not take him. Okay. Ooh, a control panel. Hit some buttons. I'm glad I have a degree in electronics and I know how to do this. Oh, 
it was close, and you're the best. So we're all we're all fine, actually. Well, it was such a tease. Ugh, Arden. Arden, Arden. Whatever, I have a sword now. Your days are numbered. Well, huh. <laughs> guess guess we go the other way, huh? But this is this is just kind of a strange final dungeon. Cuz it really is trying to play in more of a survival horror genre thing with the guy who's watching you and making fun of you and you're trying to save your friends and you don't know what's happening to them and monsters are jumping out it's just kind of like well, what is this game like is this final fantasy are you sure Hmm. But I guess they are trying to make it more of an action game as well, given the combat system over the traditional turn-based RPG, that is. So, who knows? Just a lot of genre blending happening. Hmm. Genre. Genre. Some people say. Hey. And I mean, why not? It helps games appeal to a broader audience. It still maintains, I would say so far at least, it still maintains the heart of what it means to be Final Fantasy. So, yeah, so far I, I don't actually have uh, complaints in the way, in some of the new directions that this game has taken, shall we say. So. I'm willing to keep an open mind until the very end of the game. And I certainly am enjoying it much more than I thought I would, so. Venditio. It's a vending machine. Alright. All I can buy is items. Well, that's pretty lame. I guess I'll just buy all the elixirs because that's been the most useful one then i'll just kind of round out because as you all know it's very upsetting to have numbers that aren't multiples of five okay oh what was i checking oh excellent security clearance raised to level four you would think the four zones oh, well, that's good. You would think that you could just update your card all the levels? Like, why can I only do one at a time? Why can't I immediately turn back to the machine and say, okay, up upgrade the card again? Right? I mean, I, I would think that would make sense. This might be one of the cases where I should use my uh, magic spell. Oh, they just blew up. Never mind. Never mind. Didn't get a chance. They were so scared of me, they blew themselves up. Yeah, well, we'll pretend that's what. That's what the reasoning was. You really come on, come on, come on. Without your friends babysitting you. Actually, I'm, I'm doing just fine. 
your your threats are not sufficiently scary for me because I'm at an extremely high level. I don't I do not at all feel uh, unworthy, shall we say. I have grave doubts about your friends. Are you just saying that because I'm not heading the way the directional button is telling me to go? That's too bad. Have I been here before? No, I haven't been here before. Um, let's see, what time did I start this episode? Uh, not that long ago. So I'm going to run around this area just to get the treasure, but I might make this a shortish episode because it's getting late. So let's just get some treasure and then tomorrow we can continue Z major plot. And by tomorrow, I mean, you know, for me, not for you. <laughs> for whenever I update this for you. Do, 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 Yeah, definitely worth getting overleveled in the beginning of the game. Because I can imagine if you're only at level 30, like, this would be very difficult fighting all these things by yourself. But, eh, I say, to be, eh. Die, 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 die. Good work. You're putting your father's sword to good work, kid. Alright, is there any treasure for me? There must be. You would not put in a room without treasure. That would be ridiculous. There, it's over here. There it is. Alright, and a mayo potion at that. Not too bad. Not too bad. Well, kill it. Whatever it is, wherever it is, just kill it. Alright. You killed it. Okay. So yeah, we're gonna make, oh. There's a radio in here? So you're saying anyone can become a hunter, regardless of where they're from or what they can do. Precisely. Right now, we need all the help we can get. But I think a lot of our listeners are worried that help involves putting their own lives in danger. Simply reporting that danger to a senior hunter at HQ is good enough. We all work together as a team to keep the peace. We would never send new recruits on life-threatening missions. We start recruits off on small tasks, such as keeping watch over a neighborhood. I'm sure our listeners will be relieved to hear that. Huh. So this is good business for the hunters. Clearly, there are the masterminds behind it. Dun, dun, dun. No, probably not. But maybe. I don't know. We'll find out next time. Except for not really. <laughs> but we are going to save here and cut the episode here. So thank you so much for watching. Please like and share this video. And check me out on Twitter at Interceptor is my. And I will see you next time. And we will keep going through this keep. Keep on keeping on as they say.